Although the Seafood Watch program focuses primarily on the environmental impacts of fishing and fish farming, we believe consumers have the right to know that some seafood items have high level of contaminants and can actually pose a human health risk when consumed. Dr. Jane Hightower has helped bring some of these very serious issues to the public's attention. People who should be concerned about how much fish they eat are those who eat a lot of fish. So the more fish you eat, the more concerned you should be. There's a threshold at which if you increase mercury to a certain degree, it will negate the good effects of omega-3 fatty acids. In my study, the uh, fish that had the best correlation in mercury levels was swordfish. And as far as the California restaurant cuisine at the time, swordfish was quite popular. Uh, and so in California, there, we didn't have a lot of shark consumers, but there were some. Uh, so swordfish, ahi, sea bass, um, some people would eat orange roughy. Uh, those were the big fish, and then also a lot of tuna. So the albacore tuna, the ahi tuna, all the sushi fish uh, tended to raise their mercury levels as well. The people who need to really heed the warning are women of reproductive age who are planning a pregnancy, women who are already pregnant or are nursing, small children and infants, also those with uh, sensitivity to mercury. We don't know who's going to have these side effects. We are not getting adequate warnings in our grocery stores and restaurants. Uh, so there are fish that are on the list that have high mercury, but the, the people are not hearing it, and they don't know that sea bass, grouper, and some other fish, if eaten commonly or often, can pose a problem. To help you identify which seafood items may pose a human health risk, we've partnered with Environmental Defense and added red asterisks to items on our Seafood Watch Pocket Guide. To learn more, please visit our website at seafoodwatch.org. If you're a consumer, there are very easy everyday things you can do to make a difference. For example, use the Seafood Watch Pocket Guide to help you buy sustainable seafood when shopping or dining out. In our green column, we have the best choices, items that are caught or farmed in an environmentally responsible way. In our yellow category, we have the good alternatives. So if you can't find something in the green category, these choices are okay. We have some concerns, but we're monitoring things closely. We do recommend, however, that you avoid the items in the red column. This means that there are some serious issues. The way these seafood items are caught or farmed are truly having some negative impacts on our oceans and coastal environments. So for now, we're asking you to take a pass on those items. It's important to know that the Seafood Watch Pocket Guide is updated with the latest scientific information at least once a year. Things do change and move from category to category, so please be sure to visit our website at seafoodwatch.org for the latest information. Now you may ask yourself, how do I get such a wonderful, easy to use tool? Well, guess what? They're free. Just visit seafoodwatch.org and you can either download a Seafood Watch Pocket Guide for your region or you can email us and request a hard copy and we'll send it to you in the mail. If you want more than one, no problem. We encourage you to share the information with your family, friends, and even businesses in your area. Consumers, remember, your seafood purchases do make a difference. Your demand helps shape the global marketplace for seafood. Let's make sure that we're demanding items from sustainable fisheries and fish farms. Thank you so much for helping us to ensure healthy oceans for the future. If you are truly committed to the Seafood Watch program, you could take the pledge to become a Seafood Watch advocate. This means we'll send you a free action kit full of a supply of Seafood Watch pocket guides and other useful tools to leave behind at businesses and to hand out to family and friends. You can even sign up for a free email bulletin that gives you new fresh ideas and the latest up-to-date information about our seafood recommendations. Now just remember, the Seafood Watch program is based on consumers and your role can truly make a difference. Consumers, vote with your dollars. You help shape the marketplace. You can make a difference. The most important thing you can do as a business is to stop purchasing and selling any seafood items on our avoid list. Now you might think, that's a tough, tall order, but we do have a great tool for you. We have a Seafood Watch chart of alternatives. So for every item on that avoid list, we offer or suggest a culinary appropriate alternative. 
The next thing you should do is really train your staff. Familiarize them with the CP Watch program. Show them the Habitat Media 20-minute film, Can the Oceans Keep Up with the Hunt? Finally, really work on providing your customers with more detailed information. Label your menus or your seafood counters with clear information about where the seafood comes from, whether it was caught or farm raised, and if it was wild caught, how was it caught? It's critical that we clearly communicate with our seafood suppliers. They're the ones who know where it's coming from and how it was caught or whether it was farmed or not you should make it clear to them that this information is important to you. The more we demand this information, the more readily available it will become. Businesses are the gatekeepers to our seafood supply. Through you, consumers purchase seafood. And through you, fish farmers and fishermen sell seafood. So it's up to you to help shape the marketplace and ensure that seafood is coming from environmentally responsible sources. If you're a Seafood Watch partner or interested in becoming one, there are some simple things you can do. Start by distributing the pocket guides at your institution. Train your staff and volunteers so they better understand the program. And take a look at your own seafood purchasing policy and share your commitment with your guests. Here's an example from one of our friends at Vancouver Aquarium about how they've taken the Seafood Watch program and have gone outside their four walls. The Vancouver Aquarium has made sustainable seafood one of our core conservation programs, really a mandate for the Vancouver Aquarium. What we've been doing for the past five years is working with the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch program to promote sustainable seafood through all our programs using that Seafood Watch card. We use it at our dive shows, both at the Shark Tank and at the PAC Canada Tank, sorry, Pacific Canada Tank. And what we do is we hand it out after the show as an action that visitors can take if they are passionate about the ocean, if they be, have that connection to the ocean, then this sustainable seafood is something they can do. We've also incorporated it into our educational programs, our school programs, as well as our programs that go out into schools, our community programs. On top of that, we're putting sustainable seafood into the design of our new exhibits that are being opened soon, the Discovery Education Center. We're just designing those now, so we're trying to incorporate that because it is one of our strong conservation mandates. Then separately from what's happening internally at the aquarium, we've also founded a new program called the Vancouver Aquarium OceanWise program, which works with local restaurants to promote sustainable seafood. Like most people, chefs just don't have a lot of time to dig through all this information. So what we provide is we provide uh, the information that we get from Monterey Bay and put it into a binder or uh, online information just for the chefs. So they have something at their fingertips they can look at, they can tell them not only what the name of the seafood is and if it's sustainable or not, but maybe where it's sourced from, what they should be look, looking for when they're going to buy it. As well, we do in-store training for restaurant staff. So we'll go, we'll do a presentation, and we'll train the servers and the chefs and all the staff there about what sustainable seafood is and how to purchase it and how to communicate that to the restaurant customers. It's difficult to educate millions of people. It's difficult to get that Seafood Watch card into everyone's hands in the city of Vancouver. It's really easy to educate a few hundred chefs. And when you educate one chef, then every single person that's eating at that chef's, chef's restaurant is being affected by his decision to serve sustainable seafood. So that's why we uh, made the Ocean Watch program and that's what we're actively doing right now. No matter if you're a zoo, aquarium, or other type of educational institution, we have an array of resources available to you on our website at www.seafoodwatch.org. Also visit the site to learn how to become a Seafood Watch partner. And remember, your commitment really makes a difference, and we truly thank you for it.